Uh, when I go to the cinema, and I do this as much as I can, um, there are things that I know that I cannot do there. Um, I can't answer my phone. I've got to switch it off. I can't get up and change seats because I might block someone's view behind me. I can't speak too loudly, and depending on the film, I can't even laugh too loudly. Um, and these are all legitimate concerns, and I'm usually the first person to tell people to shut up when they make a noise. Um, but they also seem to me that these things are inevitable. They are a part of um, the communication that we have a desire for with each other and with the screen. Um, and they're also part of the risk and the wonder that I think is part of being entertained together with other people. Um, this is something I've been thinking about for many years, uh, dating back to my first career, which was as a magician. Um, and I don't think that cinema and magic are actually that different. Um, with some experience, I started to realize that the best magic tricks were not performed on a stage uh, by a magician with the audience sitting down there and clapping and gasping at all the right moments. Um, but the best magic occurred when there was a relationship between the magician and the audience and a kind of give and take between the two. Um, and this was also what contributed to uh, the fact that long after the audience had left the theater, the magic existed on in their minds because they had experienced it with other people and it was now part of the real world. So our film is set in a colonial five-star hotel. Um, before a scheduled screening and as part of our broader audience engagement plan, uh, we plan to place various clues and pieces of information across mainstream platforms online, leading potential viewers to a website that's dedicated to the hotel. Uh, this website's designed to be a very rich, immersive experience to sort of give clues and hints about what to expect uh, during the event, and most importantly, to serve as a, a portal for people to book their rooms, which is essentially to book their tickets. Uh, so not only is the hotel looking for guests to come and check in, they're also looking for employees, six of them. So basically the, six, uh, the first six people to sign up to, this, to the hotel are offered the opportunity to be one of these employees, whether it's a chauffeur, a security guard, a chef. Each of these employees uh, are called 15 minutes prior to the screening and are offered all kinds of information uh, secret information that the guests don't know about what to expect, the responsibilities they have to the other guests, and some certain secrets about the mysterious nature of this hotel itself.